get ready for the dictation start since yesterday we have had a very fruitful exchange of opinions on the issues that have been covered in the mid term appraisal of the 10th five year plan from the tenor of our discussions i believe that there is broad agreement with the goals and policies suggested in the mid term appraisal and that it can act as a blueprint for further action on development matters in the 10th plan it can also act as the starting point for initiating work on the 11th five year plan during the course of our discussions a number of very valuable suggestions were made by chief ministers which may require a review of some of our policies programs and approaches i am certain that the planning commission has taken note of these suggestions and will act on them in the coming months today india is at a historic point in its development trajectory as i said in my opening remarks study we are now at a point in time where we can deliver growth at a rate of 7% to 8% at this point in time owing to the development over the last two decades there are no external constraints to the growth of our country it is very much in the realm of possibility for this country to become a prosperous nation rid of the perennial problems of poverty ignorance and disease the world is today looking at india with great interest as the saga of our development and rise to prominence on the international stage unfolds rare are such moments in history when a nation suddenly captures the imagination of the world in such circumstances if there are any constraints these are purely internal our success in living up to our potential depends solely only on us no external force can be blamed if we do not rise up to everyone's expectations therefore it is incumbent on all of us in this august gathering to ensure that we realize this potential it is this vision of a resurgent india that must guide our actions while discharging our duties as i had said earlier the environment for india's development has never been as favorable as it is now the challenge before us is to combine the economics of growth with the economics of equity and social justice another thing i want to say is that we want an ideal to be set up for the nation it is only the performance of this august body which can set an ideal or and example for the people to follow i do not say that people who have no respect for law and those who have committed any offense should be saved or protected but then it can be done only by utilizing the funds of the people collected from the people in a proper manner so that we can positively make progress for this purpose i would request the honorable house that if some amendments to the rules of procedure are necessary we must think of it and we must make the principles and the rules such that the house is not disturbed or no disturbances are created every day and our time is not wasted another aspect to which i would draw the attention of the honorable house through you is that economy is one of the most important factors and economy 
has to be affected by us also i was reading the comptroller and auditor general's report for the year i find that crores of rupees have not been utilized for years together during the period a leader of the opposition party was minister of industries what was done has to be looked into i would draw the attention of the honorable house to the fact that if you read the whole book you will find no manual of accounts no statements and no documents reconciling the actual expenditure made and nothing could be done you will find in this a large number of such items involving crores of rupees this has affected the economy of this country what has been done about it i would make a submission that wherever you find such wastages of money in those cases a very stringent view has to be taken and those persons who are guilty must be punished individual responsibilities must be fixed that is why every time we are finding this criticism in this august house that the public enterprises are not making any profit they are running in loss it is a must that the faculty must be punished because we are wedded to the principle of socialism and we want the poorer people of this country to come up but with this sort of performance it is impossible the high ups or low ups i do not know who ever is responsible action must be taken against them otherwise the economy will not improve as envisaged in the budget for the year under consideration stop